Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user uh, Radaska in Discord so a massive thank you to them for sending this in. Their Steam name is Ion so uh, yeah, there's both of their names um, and without further ado let's go ahead and check this out. So that's called the Albe system. So it should already be in the subscribe, should just install it now. There it is. Okay, what have we got? Ooh, hello. Why is my object menu open? That's weird. Um, go away. There we go. Right, so what have we got? Let's go to the star as well. Okie dokie. So, the Albe system. Welcome. It is a solar system located in the Andromeda Galaxy. It has 11 planets and 2 dwarf planets. Hoffa is the closest planet to the star Albe. So where is it? So here it is. Due to its proximity to the star, it is tide locked. There are also lava lakes on it. So there it is. Okay. Next up, we got this one, Solterre. An interesting orange tint to it due to proof's impact. So also some lava lakes on it due to high temperatures. So you can see the lava patches. Yep, the orange tints. Okay. Looking good. Next up, we got Velnus. So here's your Venus to look alike, uh, counterpart. Extremely hot planet due to its extremely dense atmosphere. It is also known as the purple planet due to its purple atmosphere. Cool. It's got a moon as well. Stony, a small brown asteroid moon that is captured in the orbit of Velnus. Cool. Got another moon as well. We've got Loon. Presumed to be a dwarf planet that has been captured by Velnus. Okay. Next up we've got Alban. An Earth-like planet with a civilization called the Albans. It will lose its life in 500 million years when the star gets hotter. So there it is right now. Looking very nice and Earth-like indeed. A little look underneath. So a very heavy ocean world but still got plenty of patches of land. Okay, cool. Mostly in the north or south regions you've got more land as well. Cool, cool. Has one moon as well. Cardin, the only moon of our band. It was captured dwarf planet as well. Okay. Next up, we've got Anair over here. A planet with a greenhouse atmosphere. However, temperatures are not high because it's far from the star. Okay. It's rather far from the start. Then it's got a moon as well. Anara, the only moon of Anara. It is an old, small, red, captured asteroid. Okay, next up we've got Dune. A planet with a very bright red atmosphere and a thin atmosphere. It is recognised as the desert planet. So there's your Mars lookalike in this system there. Cool, cool. Got a moon as well. A lot of moons. This moon does not get a mention, unfortunately. Okay. Right, next up we got this one. So where are we? So oh no, in there. Hang on, we did this one, didn't we? The planet of a greenhouse atmosphere, however, temperatures are not that high because it's far from so I know we read that, okay. And then there we go. Oh so we did Dune first and then we came back to in there. Okay, got it. Oh, so Dune is the only moon of Dune. It has a lot of red spots due to the collision with Dune that formed it. Okay, so go back to Dune. So it did have a description. Yeah. So there it is. Cool, cool. All right. There we go. So next up we got I... Iesta. A small dwarf planet with lots of ice on it. It has no moons. Kind of reminds me of Enceladus with the, the, the blue spots on it. Little blue patches of water as well. So nicely designed little frozen world there. Next up, we've got Jupio. Jupio. First gas giant. It is mainly yellow, but the poles are blue. It also has a lot of moons. It also has rings. It is the second largest planet in the system. First up, we've got Proxy. Closest moon to Jupito. Because it's proximity, it has a lot of volcanic activity. So that's your IO equivalent. And Andita. Also has a lot of volcanoes, but less but because it's further away. Okay. And we got uh, this one. Uh, no description for this one. Okay. 
Nellaby. Some red spots on it due to fallings. It's a captured object from the outer system. Alright. Uh, next up, we've got Jine over there. A mysterious moon. Not much uh, uh, is known about its surface other than its greeny blue. Okay. We've got Ion. Furious be a captured planet. It is the biggest moon in the solar system and has a huge atmosphere. So, kind of like a Titan kind of well there. Okay. Titan Venus like. Alright. Moving on. Saturn. The largest planet in the system. It is blue due to the composition of its atmosphere. So methane, ammonia, absorbing red light, making it that colour. So next up we got Bondhelis over here. The closest moon to Saturn. Its orbit is approaching and they will collide in 25,000 years. Hmm, maybe we have to simulate that at the end. And we've got Tarium over here. Yellow surface because of the volcanic activity. It will collide with Bontelli's moon soon. Okay. Molts over here. I see moon with small amounts of fallings detected on it. Then we've got Andus. It's an icy moon with lots of mountains and rocks on it. Oh, yeah. Then we've got Fonda. Biggest moon is Saturn. Some green spots can be seen on it. Those spots are actually radioactive material that glow. Nice. Let's get a closer look at that. Yeah. It's cool, cool. Right, moving on, we've got Phoenix. Purple spots in it. No one has knows what's caused them. It's getting quite dark out here as well from the parent star, if you've noticed as well. And lastly, we got this one as well. Tasculum. The last moon is Saturn. It has a lot of ice on it and oceans under the land. It's kind of like a Europa kind of design well there. Alrighty. Next jump out, we're heading to Folium. Where are we? So... has an interesting pink colour. No one knows why it's pink. It will soon have rings because its closest moon will enter the Bruce limit in 300 million years. That's valiant over here. First moon, it's a red and white surface due to Follins and it will enter the Bruce limit in 300 years. 300 million years, sorry. Have to assimilate that as well, I think. We've got Curza down here. Moon with a lot of volcanoes on it. The red spots in this lava are constantly coming from the volcanoes. Cool. So there's both of those. We've got this one as well. We've got a moon called Icy there, actually. A lot of ice on it. There is a few ice oceans under the water. It's also known as the Snowball. But again, like a Europa Enceladus kind of world. Moon with a ring system. Last moon of Folium. It has rings and a dark blue surface. It is one of the most mysterious objects in the system. There you go. So another jump out. We've got Neptune over here. It's a green gas giant due to its atmospheric composition. It has some small ring due to a moon that broke apart. It's only got a couple of moons. We've got Nab. A grey moon which gets very close to Neptune at its uh, palapsis. It will close um, that it bulges up to 500 metres at the equator. Okay. Titan it's a pink moon with a lot of ice it has a pink colour due to fallings it is the only moon that re orbits retrograde it's kind of like Triton around Neptune but this one is Titan around Neptune <laughs> next up we've got Fala the furthest planet from the star it is also the smallest gas giant also being lost as a lo also known as a lost sign due to being sign and very far away it's got a moon as well Bonti Moon with a volcanic activity it will enter the Bruce uh, limit of Fala and turn into rings. We've got a lot of objects from become Bruce limit ones. Okay, another object over. We've got Pone over here. Poen. There's a high concentration of fallings on it, so that's why it's red. So that's gonna be like Sedna, a reddish colour. Then we've got Niop, similar to Poen, but it's similar has less fallings. Okay. So now we're taking a big jump out. As it looks like, we are visiting a brown dwarf. Over here. So what do we got? So Paulton is a small dwarf. Oh, it's a dwarf, small dwarf planet. Sorry, I thought it said brown dwarf, um, which is in binary of Lopton. It has ice on its surface and a small amount of fallings. So that's in a binary with Lopton over here. Fear ice was formed from a collision long ago because it shares similarities with Paulton. It also has ice and many fallings on it. English is not my first language, so please excuse me for my grammar errors. You did a good job, man. Uh, to be honest, I mean, okay, there was maybe a Maybe one typo in there or something, but yeah, yeah, he did a good job. Yeah, nice job. So there we go. 
yeah, I can understand everything fine. So, yeah, that's cool, man. No problem. Um, but that is everything. So, let's get a line up of this system here as well. So, yeah, nice job. So, I think this was his first one he's ever sent into us. So, a massive thank you. Nice nice bit of reading. Nice little backstory between all the objects, even the moons as well. Good stuff. Nice, uh, nice different range of colours on the gas giants as well. We always like to see that. And then the Rockies are pretty interesting as well. Nice mix of uh, ones in there too. Cool. But before we finish off... We've got to do some uh, little collision simulating. So we need to go to Saturn, the Saturn, Saturn. Right, so he did say that the closest moon here, Bonteris, is going to be on a collision course. It's going to enter the Rouge limit. So what we're going to do is we're going to slowly... Whoa, 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 that's too fast. Slow down. Hold your horses. There we go. So, slow it down. It's going to slowly shrink until Rouge limit tears it to shreds. So, it's down here. There it is, around the parent planet. Let's slow down. Get you nice and close. Roosh limit is going to get very, very tough here. We should start to see some action. If not, it's going to fall in. So, there you go. That should surely start to tear apart. Come on. Very close to its parent. Come on. We're going to do it manually if it doesn't. I mean, it is very small, but it should easily be torn to shreds at this range. I mean, it is very, very close to it. You can't get a lot closer than that. So, let's go ahead and do a little bit of manual intervention. So, what we're going to do is going to just bring it a little closer. And then we're going to use the explode button here. Not laser, explode. Slow down time. Because Roosh Limit should have torn this thing to shreds. So, there you go. It's a bit of manual intervention there. And that's what you get. So, Roosh Limit, protect it to shreds. I know it's a little closer than it would be. But, either way, there you go. Nonetheless, obviously, a lot of that material is going to fall in. To the planet, some of it may form rings, so we will see. But it's going to fall in. There you go. Hey. There you go. Oh, it's making a big... Look at that. Oh, yeah. Huge patch of... Oh, oh yeah. Look at the collisions, all that material flying around. So let's go see it fly around. There you go. You've got a little ring system generating here. So it kills a huge amount of uh, temperature, hasn't it? Got that ring system very close, but eventually that will just uh, fall in, I'm guessing. But let's just let it, uh, let it play out, see how it, see how it works. Surprised that created so much temperature, to be honest. With a little moon just scraping on the side there, but there you go. There's a few little particles still flying around, as you can see, but not much to, uh, not much left to give. So that moon's been pretty much disintegrated. So then we need to head to the Thorium, wasn't it? So this one as well. This is going to have that big blue one collide with it. So Valent here. Not blue one, sorry. This, uh, f what, the red one in the Fallen. So, again, this is going to fall into Roosh Limit as well. So, we're going to slowly, manually pull it in there. Roosh Limit should start to tear it up any second now. So, again, I don't know why it's not doing it today, but we're just going to do that. There you go. Roosh Limit shredded it out. It's creating the ring system. Look, hey, like Uranus on its side. So, there you go. So, you can see him just, uh, just surely. Let's just go to view uh, enhanced. I know we're on object visibility. Can't really see it, but either way, enhanced. The rings are there. If you look very carefully, there should be some particles flying around. But yeah, they kind of just disintegrate out as well. And then lastly, the one around Neptun here. It did say that this moon would pull, get pulled in as well. Niab, wasn't it? I think it was that one. Let's just check. Let's just open it again. just want to make sure we're checking it right. So let's go back in here. Go back to Neptun. I think it was something. I just want to check it's the correct one. We've got to make it real. We've got to make it correct. So, come on. Okay, so where are we? Object menu open again. That's spooky. Oh no, it's not that one. Okay. Uh, fallen. I see. I think that was just the two we needed to do then, wasn't it? Ah, oh, okay. I think we're good to go. I think we did the two objects that were going to be uh, destroyed anyway, so... So we did Bontelli's, yeah, that's the closest moon. Then moving on to... Forlium, interesting pink colour. Then we did Valent, that had fallen to Bruce Limit as well. Yeah, that's everything, I think. They're all the objects that would have been Roosh Limit, so... Pretty cool. Alright, alright. Good stuff. 
So that does it for this system, guys. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system. So his Steam name is Ion. In Discord, he's called uh, uh, Radaska. So a yeah, massive thank you to them for sending this system in. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Those little collisions as a bonus too. And yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure to press that like button if you haven't already. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on this video as well. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Help us on the journey to the 40k mark now. So, yeah, yeah, really good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this. And, yeah, appreciate all the support, all your likes and your comments, guys. Really, really means the world. Thank you very much. And, yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.